I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Highly unstable. <laughs> Okay guys, in this tutorial we are going to create a custom weapons storage rack. Now, I have a mesh that I made here. This is a single mesh, but if you want to make it, we're going to make it from vanilla assets so you don't have to actually make the mesh as a mesh mashup. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Activator. <clears throat> and we're going to click on Weapon. We're going to type in Weapon Rack. And you are going to want the, I believe it's that one, Preview. Yep. You're going to want this one. So we're going to open that up right there. But we don't want this as an Activator, so we're going to have to make it as, as a Static. And I'm going to clear my filter and I'll just use any static here. And this is going to be, I'm going to make this a weapon rack mid. Now, I'll just make, you can use any static item for this. So what you want to do is, is you want to go ahead and click here select all in the model tab here and copy this we don't need that no more so we're going to go ahead and bring up our go to our static here and click on edit and then in the model file name we're going to click on edit again now what you're going to want to do is go into your skyrim data folder data 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 to who cares click on meshes so it says look in meshes and all we're going to do is paste this in right here and that may that will use the vanilla one so we're going to make a new form right there and we're going to turn on our snap to grid and that is right there so we're going to pull that in right there now we need the end cap, so we're going to type in weapon, rack, and then, and it will come right up, weapon, rack, end cap. And this is just a vanilla one, so we will go ahead and put that in just like that. And we're going to duplicate this one. Now it may do something a little crazy like that. That's not a big deal. We'll just go ahead and delete this one. And duplicate that. And do it again. You could do as many of these as you want. You can like have a whole line of them. I'm just going to do... Um, four of them, I think. Because there's four different kinds of weapons I'm going to use right there. So, I'm going to take that and I'm going to duplicate this end cap. And I'm going to move this all the way over to here. And I'm going to click on all of these here. And I'm going to move this over to here for right now. Now that's a complete static weapons rack. It has no activators, nothing like that. So that's good. So go ahead and save your work. Now we need, now we need to like put weapons in here. Now you won't use regular weapons. So go here and let's go with 
Um, let's go with our um, iron. And you want to use the first person greatsword because these are statics, so it looks just like that. And you go ahead and just drop that in there. Use your gizmo to turn that. And move that out a little bit. Um, if it doesn't really want to go in there correctly, you can go ahead and turn your snap to grid off and use your gizmos just to move it out. And I would say it probably would have to go down a little bit. Down just a little bit. Or maybe actually up. And then in a little bit. And then that will be okay right there. And you're going to want to, with the first person objects, you're going to want to double click this and then click Don't Havoc Settle. And then we're going to do the battle axe where's it at the iron battle axe will be next actually what you can do is just take this and duplicate it and do a search and replace and then just find your battle axe right here and it's upside down Okay, well that's not that's not a big deal. We'll just go ahead and take our gizmo. And we'll turn it up the right way and then move that down. And just over a little bit. little too much it's a little touchy you can always take in uh well actually that's that looks good right there that'll work and then we'll go ahead and duplicate that and now we'll put in oh We're going to put in the Warhammer. And that actually is pretty good. We just have to raise it up a little bit. Like that and then we're gonna duplicate that and put a put in an iron sword so we'll do the search and replace and that actually has the um, scabbard on it but that's all right so what we're going to do is is move that over there and then we're just gonna place that in there the scabbard will be all right so now we got our basic static setup Now we need to make our containers. Now we're gonna make invisible containers. So we're gonna click on this over here. And this is a the weapons rack activator. 
we can just slide that off to the side and we're going to go to our containers and you need an empty container so uh, let's go with player and you want to get the player house chest and change the ID this will be 000 M9 you know whatever ID you want and we're gonna call this storage great sword zero one and then we're gonna go and put the name we're gonna name it storage great sword great swords and then I usually like I usually put a tag on it safe storage so when you're in game it'll do that so now we want to give it some sound I usually just use barrel and the open here and then barrel again and just use the barrel close so that it all sounds like that okay and we're gonna push okay on that for right now and then we're gonna go in go into here and storage great swords we're gonna do the same thing like we did for the activator to make it a static so we're gonna copy this and we're going to paste it into the model here okay okay and we're going to put that right on top of this right here so and we'll move it over to the side one uh oh turn your snapped grid back on that way that way it, it puts it in there correctly that's pretty close so now we're going to take and we're going to duplicate open this up and we're going to duplicate this and put battle axe battle axe zero one change the name battle axes and okay make a new form and then we're going to take this and duplicate this and we're going to move that over to the side do a search and replace and we'll go find our battle axe zero one that we just did just like that now we're going to do one for the war hammers storage war hammer and war hammers like that and that retains the opening sound so we're going to duplicate this one just like that do a search and replace And we want to go for the Warhammer 01. Okay. And then the last one will be Swords. So we want to change the ID to Swords. Or Sword. And yeah. And then this one will be Swords. And push OK on that and duplicate this one here to move that one over and do a search and replace on that
sword zero one yeah that's good and that's good there now that's ready to go but if you want to like even it all up just take and go ahead and do that click your snapped grid off and kind of just like that and that's fine right there now you're gonna want to take there is one thing you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to add some references to these containers so click on view go to ref reference batch action window and you want to go down to the set location ref type and down here where it says local ref type open that up and you type in house and put the house container ref type on it and do like that and what you do is is you push f5 and it will refresh the window and you'll see these markers will appear right up there so that looks good uh, we're going to go ahead and copy all of that and go into my test cell and I'm going to put this right here um, paste it right in here I gotta turn that around and then I'm gonna move it up about like that and then I just have to move it back now if I put it right up against here it might interfere with this so I'm gonna go ahead and move the whole setup over here if you want to go ahead and turn off markers I'll make it easier just tap, tap your M key and then move it back against the wall tap your M key again that looks great save your work and that's saved and I'm gonna go in game and show you that this works okay here we are back in Breeze home once again go over here to my test cell that I got got a trap door to And here we are in my test cell. Mannequin looks good. All the other stuff I did. And we have this. These are containers. We can open these up. Sounds are correct. Just like that. And we can put we can put on uh, whatever you know if we want to put all gray swords in it it's fine but uh, you can put anything in here if you want to like uh, you know if you I got some clothes I want to stick in here open this up and it'll have the clothes in it and that is all static objects they won't move even if you shout at them which I can't shout with this character right yet so and they use uh, the vanilla textures, but it will use whatever textures you have installed so that it fits in with your game. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And remember, guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and share it on social media. And if you guys would like to help support the channel, click on the join button down below the video. To join as a channel member or look in the description, you'll find all kinds of links in there. Or look in the upper right hand corner, you'll find a link to the channel, a link to the merch store, and a link to the Streamlabs for the one time tips. Alright guys, thanks for watching and remember, until next time, to keep your sword sharp, don't be a milk drinker, and always watch the skies, traveler.